and welcome to my channel. My name is Ayana. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I own a massage spa here in Tallahassee, Florida. And in this video, we're talking about essential items you need for your massage practice. So this was the second most requested video of people asking me what are your must-have items that you'll need when you're starting uh, your own massage business or starting your practice or going to an appointment. I had the same question when I first started. So we're just gonna cut right to the chase and get into it. So hopefully I'm not stating the obvious here, but you will need a massage table. So I've ordered a number of different massage tables because I've had to order them for my employees. So I mostly have experience with um, the mobile massage tables, which I recommend everyone having at least one mobile massage table because you never know if you'll have the opportunity to do a mobile massage, kind of like spur the moment for someone. But you'll also probably want to have a stationary one if you have a stationary practice. So something that's really important, something that I've had trouble with is finding a massage table that has like a well-supported base cradle. I hate buying a massage table and the face cradle thing is very flimsy. Honestly, hold on one second. I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's, let's look at this. This is the thing I'm talking about, the face cradle thing. I don't think this applies to this one because I think I threw out the ones that I hate, the flimsy ones. But um, so something you wanna ask the manufacturer, even if you buy it on Amazon, you can message sellers on Amazon and ask them about this. Ask them about this part. So this part that locks, make sure that this locks well to where this doesn't move. I've had my employees tell me that their headresting stops working after a couple of uses. So yeah, make sure that this is sturdy. Um, it's also nice if your massage table comes with some type of warranty in case something happens to it. But I think the best quality massage tables are the ones that we got in school. I'll actually leave a link below to the one that came with my tuition in school. Um, but of course, having a sturdy massage table is gonna make all the difference. If you have an in-person practice, you'll definitely want to get a um, table warmer and maybe even a fleece cover um, for the top of it to make it more comfortable. And you can also get fleece covers for the headrest part of the, you know, for this part. It's like a fleece cover that goes on top of this. So look out for that. And I highly recommend getting a massage table that is a dark color, just in case it starts to wear over time. Sometimes massage tables that are cream or like a lighter color or white can look dirty over time. It's just how it is. Even if you do take precautions to prevent that and that doesn't look good <laughs> at all. Of course, next you're going to need some sheets. I've spent a lot of time looking for the perfect sheets. I feel like there's a type of material that I really like that's very like light and fluff, like not fluffy, but it's like very light and airy in case your client sweats because I hate when, you know, I have a session and of course people sweat sometimes and it's not very breathable. You'll see like sweat marks on the, the sheets and I don't like that. So it's nice to have breathable sheets, but it's also good to have your own blanket just in case the client is cold. And I'll give you another tip. A blanket is nice if you have a male client because it is possible sometimes male clients get erections and I don't wanna see that. I don't even wanna think about that. <laughs> so having an extra blanket I feel like maybe makes them feel more secure and you're less likely to see something like that if something like that were to happen. So we just talked about the massage table, the sheets, blankets, and um, let's see, I have a list. And I'll, I'll give you all this list as well so you can download it. Um, oh, two pairs of sheets. Um, always have an extra pair of sheets because you just never know. You might spill oil on one of your sheets or something could happen. So always keep extra sheets on you. Um, I use fitted and flat sheets, twin sheets, um, but it, it could save money to just have only flat sheets. I've seen people do it. And another good tip is to have all your sheets the same color. It is such a pain when you have different colored sheets and you have to match them like maybe your your brand is blue 
or pink or purple make sure your sheets are all the same color i promise it will save so much heartache a heating pad so you can go to the store and buy a 15 dollars heating pad from like cvs you know the pad that you put on your belly when you have your period you can use that on your clients and what i used to like to do is to use the heating pad in the very beginning of the session to like do your compressions with the heating pad on their body, I, I love that. Um, or if you know your client's feet gets get cold or anything like that, you can put this heating pad on top of their feet like while you're doing other parts of the body. Um, that can be very helpful. A Bluetooth speaker. So a Bluetooth speaker is going to play your spa music. Have a Spotify playlist dedicated to your spa music. And something you can do if you don't wanna carry around a clock or wear a watch, is you can time the playlist to be in exactly an hour when this, the playlist ends, you know that the service is done. And maybe you can have an ending song, a song that it ends on that lets you know that the service is done. Essential oils. So I like essential oils because honestly, if a client is like, some clients are not pleasant to smell. I'll just be honest. Let's be straight up. We're massage therapists. Let's talk about it. Some clients are not pleasant to smell. So I like to put essential oils in my mask. Not only does it like brighten my day, I don't have to smell things that I don't want to smell. And, you know, if a client is, you know, extra chatty and you really want them to relax and unwind, having essential oils is a great excuse because you can ask them to take a few breaths of it to kind of like recenter themselves. And honestly, they'll greatly appreciate it. Here you have your payment processor with you. So Square has a really cool thing where you could just put your Square card reader right into your phone or PayPal has an option to where you can show someone your uh, your little QR code and they can pay you that way. Just know who you're using as a payment processor. You wanna choose someone who doesn't charge a lot of fees for you to use them because you wanna keep as much as your money as possible. On these payment processors, you can set it to where people can tip you and you can set how much they can tip. Um, a water bottle. A water bottle is really important. This is what my water bottle looks like. It has a handle, so it goes with me. I can attach it to my massage bag. So always keep extra water because you will get really thirsty working on people and expending that type of energy. So you definitely want to get some good disinfectant spray. I use a medical grade disinfectant spray. It's called Cavicide and it's what they use in the hospitals. I really, really like this. So after every single service, we spray down our tables and we spray down our bolsters and our supplies. So I disinfect everything and I also go over it with the cabicide wipes. I feel like it's necessary to make sure everything is clean after each and every client. That's that's so important, um, especially in the work that I do where people sometimes bleed and there sometimes are fluids and all that stuff. Like, of course I use sheets and sometimes I use disposable paper, but you definitely want to disinfect after each and every person. A mobile fan, a fan can be really nice. Um, I used to have a fan, I don't know where it's at right now, but it, it was literally this big and it was it would clip on things. So I can clip this on a table. I can clip this um, and anywhere that it would fit. And that was really nice, especially for doing mobile massage. I always bring pepper spray, especially to house calls, because you just never know. You just never know, especially with new clients. So having something like that when you do house calls is really important. I don't think I need to elaborate on that too much. Um, maybe you should probably carry pepper spray anywhere you go, but maybe that's just me. You definitely want to have some hair ties so that you can pull your hair back or it could be for your client so that they could pull their hair back. Some people have a lot of lengthy, beautiful, cascading hair that gets in the way of the awesome massage. So you definitely want to have something for them or you could even use headbands. Probably best to use something that you can wash over and over again or something that you could easily disinfect if you use this among multiple clients. So that's really important. 
Of course, we can't forget about the massage bag, having a bag for all your supplies. Now, I've seen people use lunch boxes. I've seen people use um, just regular bags. I've seen people use suitcases, anything that could easily help you transport your things, especially if you do house calls or you visit the same um, spa over and over again. Having something to transport your stuff is a major key. Also having snacks on you that you enjoy and that have ample protein in them because protein is going to fuel your brain and it's going to help you get through the session and give you the fuel to make you feel full longer and give you the motivation to just power through your sessions. So yeah, so that's the video on supplies that you definitely want to have. I'll also mention more things on this list so you can download the list in the description box and have it for yourself, print it for yourself, check it off. It'll be a checklist to make sure that you're prepared for your next session. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if there's anything I missed that you want other people to know to carry with them when they're doing their next massage session down in the comments below. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate this because it takes me a while to edit these videos and I will see you in the next video. Stay well.